Hey everyone, Ben from Living Survival, and today we're going to be taking a look at several of my favorite knives from Kershaw, so stick with me. So Kershaw has really stepped up the game and they have some really nice knives with some really nice technology that are still very affordable in the $30 to $50 price range with the exception of one that I'm going to show you today. These are my five favorite EDC Kershaw knives. So those of you that regularly watch my videos know that I hate doing tabletop reviews. Really the only thing that I do do tabletop reviews for is folding knives and sometimes flashlights because those are fairly hard to demonstrate in a video. Believe me, we're gonna get back to some regular videos. I got a bunch of gear to show you guys, some packs and lots more interesting gear coming up that will get outside and get away from the tabletop. But today I wanted to show you five of my favorite EDC knives from Kershaw that I can recommend to you for everyday carry or just placing in your survival kits, bug out bags, anywhere that you want a great folding knife now they have a lot of folding knives, but today we're gonna to focus on some of their newer stuff and some of the stuff that they've redone in their black wash coating. We're gonna take a look at the Thermite, the Link, the Cryo, the Amplitude 3.25, and the Launch 2. First up, we have the Thermite. Now I've done a video review on this before. It's got awesome 410 stainless handle on this side, and then it's got a G10 handle on the reverse side. Flipper opener. It's got a deep carry pocket clip, which is nice. This is a Rick Hinderer design, so it's got the lock bar stabilizer there. Frame lock, dual thumb studs. It is, I believe, yeah, left and right, tip up and tip down uh, configurations for the pocket clip. A great knife, a little bit heavier than some of the other ones. This one comes in at 4.9 ounces. It is a fairly large knife. So it's got the speed safe flipper opener. You basically just flip this down. You don't press it. You do have to light switch it, but it flies out of there. And that flipper makes it very, very easy to open the knife. You basically pull it out of your pocket and just flip the speed safe flipper there and out she comes. You can see it's got a fantastic stone wash on it. That's one thing that Kershaw does really, really well on a lot of their blades. 8CR13 MOV, and like I said, it is designed by Rick Hinderer. So very nice looking blade. You can see that the stainless handle here is also uh, stone washed. So that's really, really cool. Look at the reverse side here. They call this their Spanto tip or Spanto tip. It's basically a spear point and a tanto kind of combined into one. Very, very sharp. Excellent option for EDC if you're looking for a little bit larger knife. It's got some contouring in the handle here. It does feel really good in the hand. It's got really nice lock up there with the frame lock. The uh, lock bar stabilizer there helps prevent it from over overextending your frame lock. Very easy to close and open. There's a little bit of jimping on the top there. Pretty perfect amount. The uh, flipper also performs well as a finger guard so that your knife doesn't slip out of your hand no matter which way you're holding it. Very large lanyard hole, with, which I like. I kind of like that rectangular uh, lanyard hole that they've done on some of their knives. Makes it very easy to put a lanyard through there. So $25 to $30 on the Kershaw Thermite. Excellent knife for EDC. Next, we're gonna look at the Link. Now, I did an individual video review on this one. This one's made in the USA, model number 1776. So they are very proud of this knife, and they should be. It's an excellent knife. A larger knife, again, it's a little bit thick, but it's not quite as heavy, I don't believe, as the Thermite. This one is four ounces instead of 4.9 ounces, so a little bit thinner. You can see that there's some texturing there on the, uh, the back spacer. Uh, some more texturing here on the uh, GFN handles. These are glass reinforced nylon handles. Nice 
pocket clip it's not deep carry but where they've placed this lanyard hole it's very nice again with that rectangular lanyard hole that the thermite had it's very nice to wrap a uh, lanyard and then i can just put this down in my pocket and then when i want it i just pull on the lanyard and that works very well i've carried this quite a bit it's a rock solid knife again it's got the flipper opener with the speed safe it's got that beautiful stone wash finish on it you can see there model number 1776 made in the usa very very sharp blade as well again that flipper works as a finger guard this one sort of got a built-in finger guard on the handles very comfortable this one is 420 hc with the steel and 3.25 inch blade uh, whereas the thermite was a three and a half inch blade so a little bit longer blade lands nearly in the center but doesn't rub or anything like that it flies open with that flick flipper a lot quicker than the thermite does so another excellent knife for your EDC carry this one will run in between 30 and 40 dollars so a little bit more expensive than the thermite next up I've got the amplitude 3.25 and this is in their black wash finish the black wash is absolutely awesome this is 410 stainless with that black wash finish it's basically a black stone wash I think it looks excellent there you can see there's a few standoffs in this knife knife uh, very deep carry pocket clip which is reversible uh, left and right on the link i believe it is just left and right uh, tip up and on the amplitude it is left and right tip up as well so that's cool frame lock no lock bar stabilizer on this one this one was designed by todd rexford so Rexford design knife there. It has the speed safe flipper. Very similar to a leak. It's just a little bit bigger than the leak. A little bit more handle there. No thumb studs since it has the flipper. But a really nice knife. Feels really great in your hand. Flies out of there with that flipper. I've really enjoyed carrying this one, especially with the deep carry pocket clip. You can see that black wash finish on the blade as well. This one is also 8CR13 MOV, 3.25 inch blade, so same as the Kershaw Link. 4.3 ounces, so it's pretty perfect weight. It really feels nice and solid in your hand with those chunks of black washed stainless there. It makes it feel really great in the hand there's some perfect amount of uh, jimping on the top there not too rough but your thumb def definitely does stop on it so for me that's what i like to see something that's not too aggressive on your finger something that your finger just doesn't slide right off but that has enough to stop your finger with the texture again without hurting uh, your thumb there very nice frame lock very easy to open and close you can see that this frame lock which unlike many frame locks lines up dead center so that's awesome that's what i like to see it's adjusted perfectly and again it just flies out with that speed safe flipper opener i could sit here and do that all day long so very fun little knife very capable little knife for edc this one will run around 35 bucks so another black wash knife that i've carried quite a bit this is the kershaw cryo very popular knife and they've now done it in the black wash making it a little bit more expensive you can pick up the cryos for i think around 30 dollars 25 30 dollars but this black wash coating is going to cost you a little bit more i believe it pushes it up into like the 40 or 50 dollar price range another rick hinderer design frame lock design with the lock bar stabilizer nice deep carry pocket clip however the pocket clip doesn't go all the way to the end so it's not quite as deep as you'll find on the thermite pretty similar uh, pocket clip there but it is deep carry nonetheless again on this one i threw a lanyard in it and just like on the link 
I just throw this in my pocket and when I want to grab it, I just tug on the lanyard. So that works very well for me. Again, that awesome stone wash there. Flipper design. These are all flipper design except for one. Flies out of there. Very sharp blade. You can see hinderer design there. Black wash finish on the blade. Uh, again, with the 8CR13 MOV steel. This one weighs in at 4.1 ounces, so it's pretty light. Lighter than the others that I've shown. Dual thumb studs there. A little bit of jimping here. Now this jimping, your thumb pretty much just slides right off. So for me, I could take it or leave it. Doesn't really matter if it's on there or not. There's a little bit more uh, traction there with the jimping on the underside. Mostly for aesthetic purposes there. You can see the standoffs in there are quite dusty. I've carried this one quite a bit. So it does need to be cleaned, but again, very nice opening and closing on the cryo. It lines up almost perfect. Again, it's just a little bit off to the side there. The amplitude really lines up the most perfect that I've seen in a folder, but uh, as long as it's not rubbing, you're good to go. But just awesome with those black washed slabs of 410 stainless there they're actually coated with a titanium carbonitrate coating so makes it even cooler looking there you can uh, reverse the pocket clip tip up tip down and left and right so four-way pocket clip on the cryo again very popular knife and it now comes in that black wash finish so last but certainly not least this is the most expensive of the bunch this is the launch Two. This one will run you nearly $100. This is a fully automatic knife. So whereas these are sort of what I call semi-automatic with that spring or that speed safe assisted flipper there, they do fly out very quickly. This one is a push button automatic and it flies out of there. You just, the button is recessed into the handle to prevent accidental opening there. So when it's shut, the button is recessed a bit and you basically just press that button and the knife flies out. If you're not used to an automatic knife and you hand this to somebody, it can be very dangerous. It'll fly right out of their hand because they're not used to the speed of that automatic. And also, these are illegal in a lot of places, so you want to make sure of the rules and regulations where you live. This one is the lightest of the bunch, weighing in at 3.4 ounces. It's got uh, anodized aluminum handles, so that's what makes it really light. It's really nice and comfortable in the hand. They do have a couple different models. They have the Launch, the Launch 2, and the Launch 3. The regular Launch has a little bit of a finger groove there, and then I believe the Launch 3 has a little bit of jimping here, and the handle gives you a little bit of a finger guard. This one's more of just a straight straight design there it does have a little bit of a finger uh, catch there on the end for your last finger there i find myself just putting uh, my my third my ring finger there uh, just in front of that notch and that makes the knife very comfortable in my hand this one has fantastic stone wash sort of a combination between stone and scratch finish you can see it's just a crazy finish there looks awesome it's CPM 154 steel very similar to what Benchmade uses in a lot of their knives and this is also made in the USA you can see made in the USA and the American flag there so that's really cool so two of the knives that are made in the USA are the link and the launch too it's got a cool design that's not a backspacer that's actually part of the aluminum handles so that's pretty cool no lanyard hole on this one but the pocket clip is reversible left and right tip up only so to retract the knife you do have to press the the uh, lock button there and then you can fold down the knife and to reopen it you just press that button and out she comes and it flies out this is another very fun knife to sit and play with pretty much all day long. So another great option, lightweight option for EDC with that launch. If it's legal where you are and you wanna spend a little bit more, 
definitely a great option. So another great EDC knife that I don't have that would certainly fit into this collection is the Kershaw Leak. Now Kristen has several different leaks and she's done a video on these. She's got the aluminum version. It comes in a colored aluminum version. Um, this is a liner lock. The leak is exceptionally smooth, especially with this titanium uh, rainbow version here. Exceptionally smooth. This one is actually a frame lock. So another great knife, the Kershaw Leak. Like I said, you can get it in the colored versions. You can get it in this rainbow titanium. And then you can also get it in standard and black wash finish. So take a look at the Leak as well. Let me know in the comments below what Kershaw knives you guys carry and what you like about them. And if it's a model that I haven't checked out, I'll be sure and take a look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today, taking a look at five of my favorite Kershaw knives for EDC. Affordable, great technology, what's not to love about that? So I hope you guys give this video a big thumbs up. I hope you share it to your friends on social media, Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. If you guys wanna follow me on all my social media and get the latest updates with the gear that I have in-house that I'm testing that I haven't done a video on, please follow me on my Instagram, my Facebook page, my Twitter page. All that stuff is always in the description below my videos. I'm gonna place some links to where you can find these knives on Amazon. When you do shop through my link, it does support the channel. So again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please click that red subscribe button for more videos.